We begin the standard two-dimensional examination with the transducer in the left parasternal position. The ultrasound beam is first oriented along the long axis of the left ventricle. This is the standard parasternal long axis view of the left ventricle. A small portion of the right ventricle is seen at the top of the screen. This is the ventricular septum, and this is the inferior wall of the left ventricle. Note that only the basal and mid portions of the ventricle are displayed. The apex is not visualized on the standard parasternal long axis view. The postromedial papillary muscle is here, and this is one of the chordae tendini connecting the papillary muscle to the mitral apparatus. The anterior and posterior mitral leaflets are open. The aortic cusps are closed. This is the aortic root, which is anterior to the left atrial cavity. The descending thoracic aorta is seen in short axis behind the left atrium. The coronary sinus is also seen in short axis here in the atrioventricular groove. This is a systolic still frame. The mitral leaflets have moved to a closed position and the aortic cusps are opened. Note that the septum and posterior wall have thickened, thereby reducing the size of the left ventricular cavity. We will now display the image in real time. Notice the normal contractility of the left ventricle and the opening and closing motions of the mitral and aortic valves.